Hey guys, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot here. How's everyone today? I hope you are all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we're going to ask Spirit, what's next in love? Okay, um, everyone seems to love the what's next in love. So I'm trying to get one of these out there at least every week for you guys. Um, please remember to like the video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please leave me a comment too if you know if the readings resonate or if you have any specific readings you'd like to see me do let me know down below I love hearing from you guys all right so today we're asking spirit what's next in love and we have for the crystal number one we have the amethyst heart here and the angel wisdom tarot for crystal number two we have this little opal this little white crystal with the light seers tarot and for crystal number three, we have the blue labradorite heart and the mystical manga tarot. Okay, use your intuition, see which one resonates with you most, and I will see you in your reading. Okay, if you resonated with crystal number one, the purple amethyst heart and the angel wisdom tarot, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, what's next in love, okay? So what is next in love spirit for crystal number one? Okay, what is next in love for crystal number one? That was quick, one popped out already. What's next in love for crystal number one, please? What's next in love for crystal number one? Let me get a few out here next in love for crystal number one please got another one yeah. oh okay we got a few out here let's get a couple more what's next in love please for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one please What is next here for crystal? Oops, what is next for crystal number one, please? Oops, another one. And one more. Give me one more spirit, please. What's next in love for crystal number one? And then we'll get started here. There we go. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So the last two out were these two. All right. What do we have here? Oh, okay. So the Eight of Pentacles here. So some work's been put into this connection here. Um, the hard work you've put in um, could be paying off here. We have the world energy. Beautiful. End of a cycle. Okay. Yeah. End of a cycle here. Could have been... Um, yeah, could have been waiting for something here I'm getting. Could have been waiting for something to end here you know things have to end before new things can come in so um oh queen of pentacles yes beautiful okay so very you know strong practical um knows what she wants very financially stable wow financially stable whoa we have some major cards out here in love okay so we have the six of cups um you know twin flame reunion card here also, the Two of Cups came out at the end, which is another reunion card. The Six of Cups is about reminiscing. So this could be about a love interest here, reminiscing about a connection that you two share. Um, and the Ten of Cups also. So the Ten of Cups is about happily ever after, um, you know, having a happy union here. Two of Cups is about union coming together, okay? So, yeah, this, I mean, this is beautiful, beautiful energy, crystal number one, okay? So, something big happening here. Um, yeah, definitely some movement here, I'm feeling, in a relationship here. Some hard work was put in. Um, seeds might have been planted. You know, you might have been talking here about um, next steps to take. If you're not with this person here um it could be just a coming together okay a coming together here if you are with this person um 
this could be reminiscing um, about the things that you've, you know, going over, like having a night of talking about memories and, you know, remember that time, um, you know, going over things that you've enjoyed together um, in hopes and in, you know, dreaming of looking towards the future here with this Ten of Cups. So could be like the next step here forward. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this could be the Ten of Cups. I mean, it says right here, it says right on it here. And usually I don't read them, but um, when I'm called to, it says a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment. Okay, a loving relationship with your children, raising children, um, successfully people you can trust. But right away, a happy marriage stuck out to me here. So this could mean that... Um, you know, the next step in your relationship here, if you are in a committed relationship, possibly engaged um, and about to be married um, or maybe just in a relationship and um, someone is looking to take this relationship to the next level of commitment here. Okay. Definitely feel like two people here um, involved putting work into this connection. Um, I'm getting a very reciprocal type energy here. Um, like a willing, you know, togetherness here. Them feeling that you are very strong and stable here. We're going to get some clarifiers out to the eight of pentacles spirit. Why do we have the eight of pentacles here for crystal number one, please? the eight of pentacles let's get a little more here and then we'll do some oracles but just let's get a little more here on this five of swords here okay so you know work um work that you've put into it in the past here um could have been you know a little bit difficult okay um it could have been you know a little rough going here i'm getting but i feel like with this world card here that that cycle has completed okay and why do we have the world? Okay, I mean, the world is a, you know, it's a very spiritual energy. It is, um, got four of cups, okay. Um, it's about completing cycles and, you know, so new cycles can begin also. Um, there's also the infinity symbol here on the card. Um, it just stuck out to me there in case it's relevant or resonates with any of you. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. So yeah, this could have been um, a long process here, a lot of work that went into it. And you know, it kind of got long and draining, I'm getting here, okay? So it could have drained you guys' energy a little bit. You could be possibly taking a break here, not from each other, but like a break from, um, you know, doing so many things to move this forward um it could have it could even be like the planning of a wedding here like it could be like the planning of a wedding was causing a lot of you know stress um and you kind of just like you have the date set and you kind of like okay let's take a break and maybe you know do something fun here and take our minds off of it here okay nine of pentacles yeah so the Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, you're both, I feel in this connection, both financially stable, secure, um, ready to move forward to a next step here. And again, this could be about, like I said, some work put into something that you're planning together here and just kind of needing a break from it. So you might maybe need to, you know, maybe relax and have a night of reminiscing, you know drink a glass of wine if you're into wine or you know just relax and drink coffee whatever you're into um together and just kind of chill and relax you know take a break from the whatever's going on here uh if it's overwhelming you know okay so let's see why do we have the six of cups here why do we have the six of cups here Find the six of cups, please, for crystal number one. Find the six of cups. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm feeling like if, if you are with this person, that's what it could be, that, you know, you've been planning a lot of future um, endeavors here and 
kind of getting stressed out a little bit about it. That's too many. We got this one here. Oh, we got a couple there. Okay. So the Six of Cups we have the ace of swords okay so gaining some clarity here um reminiscing might have brought some you know aha moments okay remember when and then you know maybe brought about an idea of how to get through this part of it here the difficulties okay of whatever you're planning here and we have the death and rebirth card so yeah once again the ending of something here um it could be the ending of just literally some mind um some stress here um ending the stressful thoughts um to move forward here um taking a break from it and just kind of letting the 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 stress you know putting an end to it okay so kind of like bringing your stress levels down here um yeah this reminiscing could have you know given you like an aha moment here like oh if we just do this or you know um it might ease our pain a little bit so to speak like our, our anxiety here and then if you're not with this person i am getting that definitely there is some sort of situation here that if you're in a connection with someone but you're not currently with them i'm feeling like there's um work that's been put into the connection that could have been a little bit stressful and draining here also um maybe um you know one person giving more than the other here um yeah like getting a little bored with you know kind of just hanging around waiting around for this person or something of that nature here um being that we have the world card and the death and rebirth card here um and that's under the six of cups here um, if you're not with this person i'm feeling like you're in this person's thoughts a lot and now that whatever is in their life that they need to end first um i feel like they're thinking about you because this ending is near here they're thinking about this ten of cups here now i can move on and be happy here and get to this reunion okay so i mean take it as it resonates this is you know i mean it's a pick a card general read so it could be different for you know all of you depending on where you are in your journey but um yeah it could be for either or here oh we have the hermit card of course we do <laughs> yeah I, I talked about that a minute ago about possibly having to go and take a break here from these anxieties here so this could work either way as well whether you're with someone or you're not with this person yet um it just could be that there is a need to um kind of step back and relax and stop your mind from all these stressful thoughts here okay Okay, and why the Two of Cups? So, yeah, they, okay, so yep. Okay, so we've we've gotten over our fears here, okay? And we, we've healed from it, is what this is saying here, okay? So there must have been some fear involved here with this reunion. Could have been that there was some, um, with this death and rebirth here i'm feeling like whatever had to end could have been giving someone in this connection a lot of anxiety um a lot of fear um you know fear of inadequacy fear of abandonment fear of loss here but i feel like with these two cards clarifying that two of cups it's saying that this is, these times are over now you've healed from these fears you've healed from this heartbreak from see the little heart here um so anything that's been stopping either the coming together of a relationship or forward movement i feel like this two of cups here is saying that that time is you know going to be over soon yeah yep okay so let's get some oracle messages out here wow this is good energy though crystal number one let's see what else do we have what's next in love for crystal number one looking like some forward movement or a connection coming together yeah okay garden of the night exactly so yep 
so there the hermit here okay so we are still it could be still a little bit more time here needed maybe to heal a little bit okay because the garden of the night also came out here which is basically um you know the need for healing here okay so this could be um coming to an end though i am feeling like this is coming to an end here so it could be very soon um that this this garden of the night here this healing energy is um taken care of and you're able to move forward here with this connection but again we're always healing you know no one's ever a hundred percent healed so I mean, this could even be the Garden of the Night. I mean, could even be that you two come together. Um, love is a very healing energy, okay? So, I mean, if you did come together here, um, this could even be just being alone together, hermiting away and, you know, healing each other, you know? Okay, what else, please? Crystal number one, what else for in love? What's next? please for crystal number one in love we have magic maker Woo so a little bit of magic nice some nice playful energy i'm feeling on that one good times enjoying each other's company there maybe going out you know for the night enjoying a night out what else please for crystal number one What's next in love, please, for crystal number one? What's next in love for crystal number one, please? What's next in love for crystal number one? And it seems like a very beautiful connection with a lot of love here. You know, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups. I mean, beautiful, beautiful energy here. Um, and it does look like there were some, um, you know, some work had to be put in here. Um, some healing had to be done. Okay, so we got Twin Flames. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so, well, this energy certainly does um, coincide with Twin Flames here. And it says your passion ignites. I mean, like I said, these two cards here, um, you know, they do mean different things, you know, reminiscing and union coming together here. But um, as a reader, the two of cups and the six of cups both represent union here. Um, twin flame soulmate type connections. So this could be your twin flame that you're, you know, watching this video about um possibly or it might not be but either way what's next in love Let's take what resonates leave the rest behind what's next in love please what's next in love for crystal number one please what is next in love next in love for crystal number one be real okay so yeah wanting to you know look at this connection and um be what is the word um practical okay be practical about it okay i'm feeling like the feelings are real wanting to move forward it's all very real to this person but also a need for practicality okay what else here yeah, let's get some more crystal number one please what is next in love for crystal number one now who, who doesn't want real authenticity you know of course i mean it's like the best right an authentic real relationship with a lot of love here that's perfect what do we got lizard dream the world into being yeah this is like a dream come true i feel for you know whoever you, you're involved with i feel like for you as well this is like your dream person a person that you um have dreamt about being with for like your whole life you know 
and them the same here. I feel like, you know, somebody that really wants to be with you here. What else, crystal number one, please? What else for crystal number one? What's next in love for crystal number one, please? What's next in love, please? For crystal number one. What's next in love, please? There we go. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Yeah. They really love you. This person really loves you. Um, you hold their heart here. They're wanting to come to you and show you their heart. Like she's like holding this out like this. She, it's like they want to offer it to you. Wow. Beautiful. All right, what else, please? Crystal number one's person. What's next in love with crystal number one in their person? What's next in love for crystal number one here? What's next in love for crystal number one? So some sort of um, a proposal or something maybe. I got a couple here. Adventures, okay, yep. Yeah. So we already had that one. So basically wanting to go, you know, on adventures with the magic maker, I was getting that earlier. And transformation, yes. This 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 relationship here is about to transform, I'm getting, okay? It is in the stage of tra big, huge transformation um, to becoming one, okay? Wow, to becoming one. Crystal number one, what's next in love, please? For crystal number one, please. What's next in love for crystal number one? We got two cards again. I keep getting two as well. Yeah, the power of person. Wow, the power of purpose and beyond the ordinary. Yeah, see, okay, this is a very highly spiritual connection here. I'm getting here. I feel like this connection with this person has woken you to your purpose and them as well and then beyond the ordinary yeah i mean it this connection is just beyond the ordinary very very powerful connection here very powerful connection yeah this could this could very well be a twin flame connection crystal number one please i got two already crystal number one what is next in love what do we got here we got peace oh beautiful peace yes you bring them a lot of peace here this connection is very peaceful they feel like when they're with you they can be themselves here and community so yeah getting out into the community here this could have something to do with this planning someone in the community helping with this planning for forward movement here okay that was pretty specific message there Take it as it resonates if you know someone that you're working with here collaborating with helping with a plan for the future here hmm, it's also card number eight which the eight of pentacles was where i was getting that from hmm. interesting okay what else please free spirit yeah i feel like the two of you together you feel very free free forward moving free to move forward yeah there was something there could have been something blocking this as well like i said it could have been the anxiety if you're with this person it could have just been the anxiety of all this planning um and having to slow things down a little bit maybe but i'm i'm getting to like someone here if you weren't with this person there was definitely a block here someone wasn't necessarily free to move forward here and they could be coming free now, breaking free now. Okay, so I have this deck here, which is available for purchase in the description box below if you're interested, okay? It is, um, there is a link below. And also if you're interested in a private reading, 
the my email information is in the description box below as well that's the only way that i schedule private readings at this time okay all right let's get some love messages here what would um crystal number one's person the person they have on their mind watching this video what would they say to crystal number one if they could what would they say right now to crystal number one please my feelings for you are so strong it scared me mm -hmm. okay so that could definitely um coincide here if this is a twin flame connection because they're so so intense here that um the connections are so intense that the, it, it literally can scare one or both of you away from each other i didn't mean to hurt you mm -hmm. yeah okay so anything this person has done to you in the past um especially if it was anything causing this anxiety here i'm feeling like they're wanting you to know that they didn't mean to hurt you there they're trying to practice self-love okay so right now um they're trying to practice self-love here this could be some of that healing they're doing as well healing self-worth issues stuff like that mm, okay what else are we gonna get we got a couple of these out crystal number one what's next in love please what's next in love for crystal number one Yeah, a lot of things kind of pointing to the possibility that this is a twin flame here. Again, only you would know that, not me. Um, but if there is a connection that you are feeling, or if this is a connection that you're feeling could be a twin flame, uh, it, it is a possibility. A lot of uh, twin flame energy is coming through in this reading. Doesn't have to be, but it... Um, definitely is showing up in the reading here flirt so they're wanting to flirt wanting to you know have that fun and have some adventures and be flirty and have fun just go out enjoy each other um you know be a little romantic and flirty what else please crystal number one what's next in love please what's next in love So it could be um, magic maker there. It could be like date night or, you know, your person could take you out and just be like flirty or, you know, if this is someone that you're not with, it could just be someone that's asking you out on a date here. Oh, that's way too many. Let's, let's go again. It was like a whole stack. Let's try again. Crystal number one, please. What's next in love, please? What's next in love for crystal number one? What's next in love for crystal number one, please? Yeah. Almost fell. Separation. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yep, so sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of future. Okay, another card suggesting that this could possibly be a twin flame connection. Um, yearning for you, unsure of the future, thinking about you and missing you. So if this is someone, again, that you were involved with and, you know, the connection was very strong and powerful and, you know, you fell in love with this person, you, you know, you felt like they were in love with you and then they disappeared, they ghosted you, they backed off, whatever the case may be, um, and you've been in, like, separation with this person, possibly even no contact, um, this reading is suggesting that this person is about to come forward here because of the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, um, Ten of Cups energy there. Um, the World, the Death and Rebirth card, End of a Cycle, Beginning of a New Cycle. Um, and this Separation card, Missing You, Yearning You, thinking, Yearning for You, Thinking About You. Um, very, very common during separation here. So, yeah, if, I mean, if this is the case, this person is missing you tremendously if you're not with this person um and yearning and wanting to be back in your life here and like i said this reading is suggesting that that is on the horizon here 
with all those cards that came out in the beginning of the reading here okay let's get more here crystal number one what's next in love here for crystal number one please crystal number one please what's next in love what's next in love for crystal number one please A personal, a personal issue reaches resolution. Exactly. That death and rebirth there. Yep. Yep. Whatever has to end in this connection, whether it be with you or them, it's reaching its resolution and it's allowing this forward movement here. So, yeah. I definitely feel like it's on the horizon. Like, with this reading all the cards that came out what's next please what's next in love for crystal number one please what's next in love new beginnings yeah perfect wow beautiful yep yeah so this definitely could be a situation that you are not currently with this person um like i said i mean it could go either way take it as it resonates we did um look into if you were with this person earlier as well but a lot of these cards that have come out now have really started to suggest that this person could be someone that you are not currently with if you were you know drawn to this pile um they could possibly be your twin flame in separation here um and about to return is what i'm getting from um the cards there that came out earlier let's get one more of these to close out the reading here one of these whispers of love cards here crystal number one's person what's next in love for crystal number one please and their person what's next in love for crystal number one please what's next in love What's next in love, please, for crystal number one, please? Oh, there we go. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Hmm. Wanting you to take the focus off of this for now. Yeah, they could be feeling like them not being right there is kind of hurting you a little bit. And they're wanting you to just focus on something else at the moment. So that way you're not um, hurt by this because they're, they're hurt by this. They're yearning for you and they feel like this is possible that you're yearning for them as well. Maybe if you, it, they're figuring maybe if you focus on something else, you won't feel that pain of that yearning there okay well crystal number one this is profound energy okay um very big uh powerful love here i feel like a very spiritual connection for sure here um whether you're with this person or not like i said take what resonates and leave the rest behind okay um but yeah it looks like forward movement here i feel like it's on the horizon here i feel like a lot of work's been done between the two of you and um healing stuff like that so i do feel like this is a forward moving um connection here all right well best of luck i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already okay uh, please leave me a comment as well. I love hearing from you guys. And I will see you in the next reading. Have a great day. So if you resonated with crystal number two, the little white crystal here, and the light seer's tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, today we're asking spirit what's next in love. Okay, so spirit what's next in love for crystal number two here. What's next in love please for crystal number two. We'll get a few cards out. What's next in love for crystal number two please. What's next in love for crystal number two. What's next in love please for crystal number two. In love for crystal number two. 
What's next in love for crystal number two, please? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> What's next in love for crystal number two? again. What's next in love, please, for crystal number two, please? What's next in love, spirit, for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two, please? Okay, whoops, we have this one. One more, please. We get one more, there we go. Okay, so... We have, okay, so we had the Eight of Swords, okay, the, sorry, I'll show you the cards a little closer, there we go, the Eight of Swords, and then the King of Wands, okay, the Two of Cups, beautiful energy there, the Six of Wands, and then the five of wands and the seven of swords okay so I feel like we have a situation here where there is a masculine who is very passionate about you however they are stuck in a situation here um that is preventing them from coming forward okay it's in their mind they're not really stuck they could move forward here but i'm feeling like they are having a lot of anxiety about it they're hiding their feelings for you and that's given them anxiety as well um they're wanting this connection to move forward here they're wanting a union here with you but there's some conflict here going on there is definitely some sort of competition um feeling possibly third party involvement here so either you have a boyfriend or girlfriend um, or they have a boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? Um, or they're married. Um, this other person is involved and possibly making them feel guilt here for wanting to leave the situation. Yeah, I feel like they might be being gaslit here. Um, and then they're, they're just hiding away their feelings as well. They're just, um, they're kind of burying everything. They're repressing emotions here. But I feel like they're very, very passionate about you and wanting this union, but they're, they're repressing emotions because of, um, I think because of this, situation here that they feel stuck in I do feel like it's in their mind I do feel like they're not really stuck they could and again this could be flip-flop so this could be you as well if you're in a situation where you feel stuck yeah just know it's it's your ego here it's fear it's in your mind it's um it's you know because the eight of swords is about being bound it's almost like being in a mental prison okay so you're telling yourself stories here okay um that everything will be okay if i just stay here kind of thing you know like trying to avoid because the seven of swords is about deception um i feel like here there is a lot of self-deception going on as well with feelings being hidden so either you're hiding your feelings from someone or they're hiding them from you um 
but yeah there's definitely some other energy in this reading here that I feel in definitely a third party involvement here um, causing a little bit of chaos in the mind okay let's get some clarifiers out for these though so yeah we're gonna get clarifiers I'm here I'm here and here this person is trying to be strong here though and rise above okay again whether it be you or them um, I'm seeing the lion back here and I mean the king of wands is a very passionate I'm sorry about if you hear any click clacking hi Kira that's my puppy my well my dog she's not a puppy anymore but she moves around back there you might hear some funny noises that's just her um she's always with me anyway my viewers are gonna get very used to hearing Kira right Kira okay so anyway um yeah i'm feeling like they're being this person is being strong they're trying to remain strong through this whatever the situation is here but i do feel like they're being um like gaslit almost like you know just someone making them feel guilty or um so on the eight of ace, uh, eight of swords we have the ace of swords here so yeah i feel like this person here whoever this character is you or them you're wanting a new start you're wanting to clear your mind you're wanting to gain clarity on why you're still in this situation here you're wanting answers truth okay and definitely wanting like a new beginning here yeah seven of emotions yeah the king of wands he's trying to make choices here okay choices that will better his life his or her life okay um it's a man in the in the little picture here but this person is trying to make choices okay for forward movement they want this loving relationship here I feel like that's not what they're stuck in whatever this is here is definitely not a loving situation and they're trying to make the choice to move out of that situation okay but this is a very like kind of sticky situation here that's going on let's see two of cups why do we have the two of cups out here for crystal number two what's next in love here so needing to gain clarity here for sure needing to make choices what is next in love for crystal number two please i'm feeling yeah here we go again with choices yeah wow and the seven of voices again so the seven of voices is the seven of swords and a different deck again i was feeling like this is basically just saying what i was saying earlier which is someone here is hiding their feelings whether it be you or them okay i think what it is is that you're trying whoever this is is trying to keep the other person out of it so they might even be saying the opposite here of what they're feeling you know like they might be like i don't want to be with you i don't you know i'm I'm taken or whatever the case may be they could be even saying the opposite here but again the queen of voices here wanting to make this decision towards the two of cups okay so this person could be completely flat out denying their feelings or just not saying what their feelings are but wanting to make that oh i'm sorry this is the queen of voices did i say the two like a yeah I, I almost i saw the two of swords here wow that's weird that's the queen of voices but either way wanting to make this is clarity once again the queen of voices is about clarity and we have the seven emotions about choice so either way it's choices wanting to make choices wanting to put boundaries up here with the queen of voices wanting to put boundaries up with this person in order to make a choice to move forward here the need for yeah the need for boundaries so this person could be stuck in a cycle of codependency here 
um, with this person is, um, like I said, gaslighting, um, exhibiting narcissistic behavior here. Um, yeah, this could be a very like, yeah, sticky situation here. This person's trying to remove themselves from but needing boundaries, um, I feel like I said that this person, whoever it may be, whether it be you or them, is trying to remain strong through it and push through and keep your boundaries strong here. Six of Wands, I do feel like this person um, is wanting this forward movement into a loving relationship what do we have oh, six of emotions yeah six of wands and six of emotions so we're we're looking at reminiscing here okay um this could be um them thinking about the past with this person here whoever this third party is and seeing all the red flags that they missed in the past okay and realizing that they need to keep their boundaries strong. They need to make these choices to remove themselves. They need clarity in their own mind to clear their mind here in order to move forward. But I do feel like whoever this person is that might be entangled here with a third party, I feel like that person is gaining clarity. Again, could be you or them kind of getting you know a little bit of it could be you or them it could be flip-flopped here so just um take it as it resonates but i do feel like that person is gaining clarity here they're starting to see that you know the situation here just needs to end here okay five of wands this third party situation here has to end is what i'm hearing they they, they know in it they're, they're they're feeling it they're seeing it they're opening their eyes to it thinking about it a lot here oops too many flipped over what do we have here oh yes oh wow okay six of voices beautiful so with a little help from the universe here okay this conflict this competition third party energy with a little help from the universe this might resolve okay so the universe might step in and you know veer this person in the right direction um could you know put someone else in this other person's path i mean the universe is amazing it does amazing things so you never know what can happen there but the universe is stepping in there to get them out of this um conflict okay so helping them along giving them a little bit of a, a push you know let's see what else we have for the seven of swords we have wow okay whoa yeah see oh wow so yeah for the seven of swords okay hiding feelings being um avoidant of feelings kind of pushing it down not wanting you to know what they're feeling yeah lovers absolutely in love here absolutely in love with you or you with them if this is reversed here um and hiding it completely because waiting for this justice to come in okay waiting for this other situation to resolve itself waiting for karma to clear here okay and hermiting away okay so this person could be a little bit at a distance right now okay they could be a little bit at a distance hiding away trying to hide their feelings not wanting to show you what they're feeling um waiting for karma to clear here waiting for yeah waiting for the situation to be resolved here okay so this could be a little bit of a wait okay um this could be a slow movement forward here it does seem like whoever this is in this situation is a little bit in a sticky spot okay but it definitely um there is love here and there is a, like i said hidden feelings i picked up right away um it came out twice not once but twice um and yeah totally like the lover's card absolutely in love um wanting so badly to move forward to this two of cups here knowing they need to make choices 
seeing all the red flags from this third party connection here that I'm picking up on um, and realizing it now. And you know what? The universe is stepping in as well. So, or it seems to be anyway, helping them along, giving them a little push, maybe opening their eyes here to these red flags. Be still a while. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a little bit slow, as I said might be a little bit slow going okay so be patient if this is someone you really care about here be patient wow okay got one flu gratitude yes okay they're grateful for you here you know and they're hoping that you're grateful for them as well even though they may be a little bit flighty at the moment or a little bit um aloof standoffish um they could even, like I said, they could even be flat out telling you the opposite here. They could even be saying like, you know, no, I'm not, I don't want anything. Just to kind of keep you at arm's length, keep you out of the chaos, keep you out of the mess kind of thing, you know. It could be, like I said, um, or they just could not, might, might not be saying anything at all here, okay. They might just be holding it in completely, okay. Crystal number two, please. What's next in love here? What's next in love? What's next in love? A little bit of stuff to work through, it looks like, for somebody. One of the people in this connection here, at least. What else? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yeah, so this is basically saying just find the joy in what is in front of you today, okay? Live for the moment right now, okay? This will all work out. If it's meant to be, it will be, okay? Um, but just be patient through it and live for the moment. Live in the moment. Enjoy today, okay? Let's see what else. Be humble, okay? So, yeah, of course. Always be humble and kind, you know? Um, and just remain humble even, you know, this is not the type of thing I'm um, feeling here like, if this person does resolve this situation um, and they come to you with love, I would, you know, refrain from being, you know, the boastful type, like, you know, I win or something like, you know, immature <laughs> like that, you know, kind of like be humble, um, just be respectful of, you know, other people and their feelings here. Um, don't really know why I'm getting that, but it might resonate with someone there, out there. Okay, let's get more here. Just be humble and kind. You know, everybody's fighting their own fight. You know, everybody's living their own um, life here. We're all just trying to do the best that we can. So, all right, what else, please, for crystal number two? That's a whole stack. We don't need all those. <laughs> These cards, sometimes they're just so thick, it's hard to um, shuffle them. <laughs> So I apologize. Crystal number two, please. What's next in love, please? What's next in love? So a little bit of working through some stuff. Okay, that's what I feel um, this reading might be about. Whether it be you or a person that you are currently, um, you know, have your eye on. Or, you know have a connection with of some sort here what else here the miracles are endless yes so things will happen okay this is what I'm getting from this things will happen in divine timing here okay the universe will help out it'll step in help move things along maybe give it a little push here and there where it needs to be you know um, things will work out okay so the big message here is just keep the faith and things will be okay, but it's a little bit sticky right now, okay? I mean, there's always going to be challenges along the way, so crystal number two, and this is just um, like a bump in the road, you know? It's just a minor bump in the road that will pass. This too shall pass. Um, okay, let's see. What else we have here? Crystal number two, please. What's next in love for crystal number two? Reflect and redirect your energy. Okay, so reflect and redirect your energy. 
so try not to focus so much on it okay try not to focus so much on what is not happening and just focus on what is okay what you have control over okay let go of the rest and the rest will work itself work itself out okay crystal number two okay that was a lot here <laughs> it's this one here willing release okay so yes this person here is going to willingly release this past here whatever this is that's holding them back here they're looking to willingly release this it's something that they've already made up in their own mind but i feel once again like this whoever this third party energy is 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 causing them to re not replay events but question their own thoughts here okay that they're, they're like again it's like that gaslighting energy okay it's making them question themselves, okay? But they are willing, willingly releasing this from their life here, okay? Crystal number two, please. What's next in love for crystal number two? Enlightenment, yeah. And blessings, two came out. Enlightenment and blessings. So yeah, they're enlightened by this connection. I feel like they have, you have made them feel like they're on the right path here. And what they're doing for themselves is very important to their life. And they also feel very blessed, okay? Very blessed to have you here. Um, wanting this forward movement. And knowing that they'll get there, okay? They're knowing that they'll get there, but they're just, it's, you know, it's, it's a process. Yeah, it's just, they're in a process, that's all. Crystal number two, friendship. Okay, yeah, so for now... They're wanting to, they don't want to lose this, okay? If you're in a friendship type situation with this person because they are currently involved with someone else, they're not wanting to lose that with you, okay? They're wanting to hold on to that friendship um, for the duration here until they have resolution, okay? Next up. For crystal number two, please. What What's next in love, please? For crystal number two. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? What's next here? Crystal number two. Orphaned. Feeling, yeah. Feeling left out here. Okay, so this, this situation might have been um, having you feel like left out, okay? Feeling like they kind of left you out in the cold here. Um, this is basically saying that, you know, this isn't the case, okay? They are going through something here. Um, like I said, I feel like they're having big realizations um, about this third party here. Um, feel like they're 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 opening their eyes to red flags and so it's not that they if they did walk away from you or um again hiding their feelings telling you the opposite of what they're feeling um if that is the case it's it, it would make you feel that way you know but this is basically saying that that's not the case okay let's get more please a couple more here for crystal number two what's going on what's next in love for crystal number two what's next in love for crystal number two what's next in love for crystal number two please there we go religious factors okay your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path okay so this could be something that's hindering this connection as well um, one or both of you could have different religious beliefs. Um, I, it's a possibility. It's, I mean, it's coming out in the reading for some, for some of you. It may resonate here. Crystal number two. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? What's next in love for crystal number two? We have mask. Aha. Mm-hmm. 
not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting, okay? Not showing their feelings, came up twice, felt it earlier, and then also gaslighting. I was feeling like they were being gaslit here by someone. So, yeah, seems to be the situation here. Um, definitely just some mind issues to get over here. But wanting to move forward with that Two of Cups here, um, wanting this union, I felt like they're very passionate about you with that King of Wands. And they're trying so hard to remain strong. Okay, here we go too with spirituality again. Okay, so balance spirituality and practicality here. So again, religious factors could once again, um, spirituality and practicality because it says something about your spiritual path. So it could be that um, you and this person are on the same spiritual path or them and this other person are, were on a spiritual path together or... Or want, maybe they're not and you are. Um, yeah, take it as it resonates. It's it's come up twice, so it might have something to do with your connection with this person here. Okay, well, what else for crystal number two? And then we're going to get some love messages here. Let's get one of these out and then we'll get some love messages, please. Crystal number two, what's next in love for crystal number two, please? And their person. Crystal number two and their person. What's next in love for crystal number two in their person? Creativity. Okay. So use your creative mind here, okay? Both of you put your heads together, I'm getting from this. Both of you put your heads together and figure out a way to get over this hump, okay? Maybe talk it through, you know, talk to them about it and, you know, see what, you know, what you both can... Um, not collaborate, but what you both can um, come up with together, like brainstorm. That's the word I was looking for. See what you both can brainstorm I'm getting from that, you know, maybe just having a conversation with them. Okay, let's get some love messages out. This deck here is available for purchase. If you are interested, it is in the description box below, okay? And also, if you'd like to schedule a private reading, my email is in the um, description box below as well. That's the only way that I schedule private readings, okay, is through email. Okay, whoop. so we have, whoop, that one came out earlier too, two of them there. Let's get another one, please. Let's get another one here. Crystal number two's person, what would they say to them right now, please? Okay, so... I can't stop looking at your photos, okay? So if you're not with this person right now, they're looking at your photos, um, wishing that they could be with you. My feelings for you are so strong, it scared me. So they could, that could be a little bit of anxiety in their head too, all right? Maybe, and you are my twin flame, thinking that you're possibly their twin flame. So again, only you and this person would know that, but this person is feeling like you are their twin, so it could be that you're twin flames. Let's get another love message here for crystal number two, please. Yeah, so they're not with you. They're not telling you how they feel. They might be telling you the opposite, but they're probably on social media, like, you know, looking at your pictures and wishing that they were with you here. Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Yeah, so I feel like this is saying your connection with this person has really helped them through this. Even though you might not know it, I feel like just knowing that you care about them has made them um, more able, okay, to go inward and try to get through these mind, you know, this, this mental torment okay that this person this third party energy i feel has been putting them through okay so yeah i mean i feel like this is a very powerful connection very strong love here um a want and need to come forward here but there definitely is some sort of a stop here um 
you know blocking here with I feel like I said that third party energy and just the um yeah the anxiety and the thought the thoughts um are really putting a stop in this connection so it could be a little slow moving forward but I do think it's a good connection to with someone here that really does care okay and they really want to be with you and move forward here even though they might not be saying it um this is suggesting that they do have um very strong feelings okay well crystal number two i hope that this reading was helpful for you please remember to like it and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already okay enjoy your day and i'll see you in the next reading So if you resonated with crystal number three, the blue labradorite heart and the mystical manga tarot, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, what's next in love, okay? So what's next in love for crystal number three today, spirit? What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love, please, for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? Oops. Mm -hmm. Flew really far. What's next in love for crystal number three? Get a couple more out. And we'll take a look. That one there. Okay. It's next in love for crystal number three, please. It's next in love for crystal number three. There we go. Okay. So what do we have here? We have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. The Magician, wow, the Magician, Strength, whoa, Crystal number three, the Queen of Cups, whoa, okay, big energy here, Four of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, wow, okay, Crystal number three, get ready. Okay, get ready for takeoff here. Whew. Okay, so you have someone here, whoever is in your mind about this reading here. They are loving you unconditionally, okay? This person has a strong, powerful love for you, okay? Very deep love here. A lot of passion also. Um, I do feel like this person is wanting to come in and move this forward. Next step here, okay? Um, the Four of Wands here with the, you know, it's like the marriage card. Um, yeah, strong, build a strong foundation, wanting a family here. Um, yeah, wow. Um, and they're manifesting this, okay? This connection, this Ten of Cups here happily ever after okay this person you are like their one okay you they feel like you're their person here okay and they're manifesting this connection they feel it's the the love is so strong here a lot of fire energy here um yeah they're, they're just wanting forward movement they i feel like this person wants to marry you here i mean i'm getting that very strongly wanting to rush right in too. I mean, like this could be something that, you know, is already in your awareness here. Um, yeah. Powerful love here. Wow. Crystal number three. Okay. Well, let's get some clarifiers out here. Ten of cups. Why the ten of cups here? Happily ever after. You are this person's one. You are the one and they're manifesting it. They are wanting this connection to move forward here to the next level fast. They're coming in fast. This might be unexpected here as well. We got the star and the lovers. 
and the empress oh my gosh okay the star the lovers and the empress all right let's get more wow okay yeah this is powerful this this is very powerful this too wow the guides are really going i i feel like this is another twin flame connection my goodness um king of cups yep wow the king and the queen yep i just said twin flame connection and the king came out with it these came out in this water here whoa wow very powerful energy here four of cups please i mean four of wands please yeah wow this is a very powerful connection um i am feeling like this could possibly be a twin flame connection um i feel like twin flames are very much in the energies at the moment um a lot of shifts going on in the twin flame community here um this is yeah wow this one's very very powerful right right from the first few cards hitting the table um phew, yeah just like goosebumps kind of strong here knight of swords please knight of swords wow so yeah this person um deep passionate love for you um unconditionally loving here we have the king and the queen of cups here the, the divine couple um this person feeling like you're their empress you're their everything okay um, manifesting this connection manifesting this union here with the lovers card um, the star all about hopes dreams coming true okay you are their dream come true I said that earlier like you are they feel like you are the one okay so this this is a very powerful powerful love here um, that I feel is they're wanting to come in quick and claim it okay nine of swords okay so they're, they're having a little anxiety about the speed that they're feeling they want to move in here okay it's given them a little anxiety their want and need to move quickly um i feel like they could be at this moment feeling like they are possibly losing you um i was getting that when the five of pentacles came out on the four of wands okay um i feel like you could be at a distance from them yeah i feel like you could be either at a distance like in the country out of the country uh you know geographic location wise but i'm not it could be that but i away for work it could be that as well um, but I'm feeling more so like maybe you physically distanced yourself here. And there's a little bit of a fear here of losing you here. And they're wanting to come in quick, okay? And I'm seeing some sort of vacation here with the King of Cups. They could be planning a vacation here. They could be taking time off of work here or planning a vacation to see the world. Oh, they're wanting to see the world with you. I just got looking at these two together. She has this pregnant belly here and it's the earth, you know. They're wanting to see the world with you. Hmm, wow yeah this is beautiful this person again this could be a surprise okay you might have distanced yourself from this person you might have even moved on who knows at this point um and this person is just wanting this connection to move forward fast okay and it is giving them anxiety the speed that they are wanting to come in at okay i did get that Im immediately with the nine of swords it's causing them a lot of anxiety. It's causing them sleepless nights. Um, but they are definitely wanting fast forward movement here. Okay, let's get some Oracle out here. Whew, very, very powerful love here. Strong, strong, very, very passionate. A lot of desire here. 
wanting to like touch you here wanting to be close here yeah this person is really um wanting to rush in wanting to rush in crystal number three okay what's next in love for crystal number three walking down the aisle if there's a card that says that and then <laughs> you'll get it <laughs> um <laughs> seriously oh. ah to dance with joy yeah dancing at your own wedding here <laughs> That's funny. Dancing at the wedding, okay? Yeah, no, it's going to make you very happy, okay? Um, all joking aside, it is, it's going to make you extremely happy here. Um, that's what I'm getting with that card. And you could very well be dancing at a wedding. You don't know, but um, yeah, it's going to make you extremely happy here, okay? Them coming forward is going to bring you joy. It's going to bring them joy as well. What else do we have, please, for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three, please? We have here synchronicity, yeah. So you're probably seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. And again, I'm feeling big, strong twin flame vibes coming off this, this reading as well. Um, yeah, the guides have really been, um, putting forth a lot of twin flame information here. Um, in recent weeks, I feel, um, it's really amped up. I do feel like it's a very powerful time for twin flames. This could be why. Um, but again, you only, you would know if this person is a twin flame doesn't mean that they have to be. Um, this is just a very powerful love. Okay. Very, very powerful here. If it's not a twin. Okay. And then we have this card here, which, oops, which says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay. So this could be something to do with their fear of moving forward fast. Okay. Um, maybe they're feeling badly. Um, maybe again, maybe they're, they're feeling like they're losing you here. Maybe it's taken time or so they're, you know, they're also trying to, maybe that's why they're getting anxiety here. Yeah. Because they're trying to um, remind themselves that they really just need to make the, um, the decision based on what is in front of them, not based on guilt or not based on past events, you know, being, you know, oh, this has been a long time, so I need to make this decision. Kind of trying just to make the best decisions for the both of you here. But I do feel like they are wanting very badly for this to move forward quick. But they're trying to also make positive decisions here. Okay. Let's see. What else, please? Crystal number three, please. What else? What's next in love for crystal number three? Yeah, this is going to make the both of you very happy here. Um, unleash your kindest self. So yeah, they're wanting to, you know, show you kindness. They feel like you're very kind here and that you deserve to be treated kindly and relax. Yeah. They just want to, again, relax into you, feel your body next to theirs in comfort here, be together and relax and not have all this anxiety. Okay. Let's get some more here. Crystal number three. What's next in love here for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? Whoa that one flew. Hold on one second. Try to get it. Cat spirit. Okay. We have cat spirit. Claim your independence. Okay. So this could be, um, they could be in a situation or you could be in a situation where you're not, um, free of a past person. That's a possibility here. Um, and this is saying to claim your independence in order to move forward here. Okay. And then the grasshopper spirit says, take that leap of faith. So yeah, they're wanting to take this leap of faith. They're wanting to, again, move quickly and just take that leap of faith and move forward here. 
but again that independence card could be that someone is not fully um available here okay would be very common too if it is a twin flame connection as well so could be the situation let's see let's get more crystal number three please what's next in love for crystal number three or this could be here where i was feeling like you might have moved on as well so overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything yeah so they're feeling like again you can do anything together here unlimited possibilities um they're feeling like this is you're the one you know happily ever after all the wishes coming true you can overcome anything together as long as you have each other here okay next please for crystal number three what's next in love so any obstacles this is saying that they will be overcome here if there is an obstacle of another person maybe you did move on for a brief moment in time or maybe you are connected to someone or they're connected to someone um the obstacles will be overcome so that's what's happening next here and they also feel like like i said you can overcome anything together as well we got this one the land between yeah being one foot in one foot out here okay um yeah kind of trying to move forward but something's you know kind of like in between wanting to rush in but something here is you know maybe a little bit hindering it here i don't see anything right now i, I at least i didn't feel anything except the possibility that you might have moved on here so i mean it could be that uh again someone else in the connection the independence card came out here but very very close and very wanting like very close to resolution here wanting to rush right in so i'm feeling like if anything this could be on your part here it could be on theirs as well yeah i could be on theirs as well um wanting to rush in not able to um or maybe like i said possibly you moved on here or left the situation you know the connection mm. crystal number three please what's next in love here give me more please what's next truth yeah the truth is gonna come out here okay so yeah the truth about feelings um will come out here it'll enable this forward movement um into like i said they're gonna come in and i feel fast it's gonna be maybe even unexpected um for you to um you know have this person rushing in and being like let's get married you know or something of that nature i mean it feels that big you know truth mm, living the truth whoops okay this one this one's coming out here if i can ever get it there we go all right what do we have here for crystal number three relaxation yeah that relax card again really wanting to yeah really wanting to just relax with you lay down with you hug you comfort you really just wanting to be next to you here and dreaming yeah they've probably been dreaming about this day um wanting this day to happen so badly like yeah i feel like it's been like a long process here for this person in their mind you know daydreaming night dreaming what else please crystal number three please what's next in love here what's next in love for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three please Oh, beautiful though very beautiful energy beautiful just that one okay oops all right what do we have here between worlds wow yes yeah, see again this is the same energy the land between and between worlds so yeah the, it's it's that something in the middle here okay something in the middle it's very possible that you know 
I picked up on earlier that, you know, maybe you had moved on from this connection. So either one of both of you have moved on or one or both of you were connected to someone and that still hasn't ended or something of that nature here. Because, yeah, between worlds and the land between, exactly the same energy here came out twice. So, okay, let's get a couple more here and then we'll get some love messages out. But crystal number three, please. What's next in love for crystal number three, please? We have worth waiting for. Yeah, so divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so yeah. And this is saying if there was a wait here, this person is definitely worth waiting for. Like I said, I mean, it's a strong, deep, unconditional love. They feel like you're, they, you're, you're their person here. Crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three? And divine timing is at work. So everything's happening as it should, you know? Yep. Okay, what else, please? Crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three? Yeah, this real is it. Wedding rings. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my gosh. I knew it was going to come out. Yep. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. So yeah. I mean, this dance with joy, you could very well be dancing at your own wedding here. Okay picked it up in the beginning and there it is to confirm at the end thank you spirit next please crystal number three yeah this person is wanting it all with you um wanting to rush right in wanting marriage again there could be something here wanting to rush into like i said i feel like it it's going to be a surprise almost because it's going to be so quick okay but I am feeling like they might have been afraid that they lost you here. And maybe that's what's this this land between and between worlds. It could be something to do with another connection being involved here. Um, it could have been brief. It could have been nothing. But they might think that it's something. You might not have moved on, but they thought you did. That's a possibility as well. This doesn't even mean that it actually exists. It, it could be that they think that it exists, okay? Yeah, okay. Let's get more. Crystal number three, please. What's next besides getting married? What's next, <laughs> what's next besides getting married? Um, what's next in love, please? For crystal number three, what do we have here? A new romantic cycle begins. Beautiful, yes, wow. Forward movement with your person. Yes, this is amazing. All right, crystal number three. What else for crystal number three? And then we're gonna get some love messages out here. What do we have? Sacred space and ancient wisdom yeah so sacred space and ancient wisdom okay so this is saying you know put a, you know make a special place okay for the two of you here okay and then ancient wisdom i feel like this is um kind of saying like it was a past life connection here um and either one or both of you are kind of aware of that okay yeah and sacred space i just feel like that's um just kind of saying like make it special okay they're wanting to relax with you here like you know it, it almost feels like you know like rose i'm seeing like rose petals on the bed kind of like on the floor um leading to where you're you're gonna relax together you know like make it special candles you know I don't know why I'm getting that from that card right now, but that's what I'm getting. Just make the time together special. Okay, and love messages here. This deck is available for purchase in the description box below if you're interested. And also if you'd like to schedule a private reading, my email is in the description box below as well. Okay, I only schedule private readings by email, okay? What would crystal number three's person want to say to them today? 
Jeez, I'm wondering, what does Crystal number three's person want to say to them today? Oops. That one there. We both need to step out of our comfort zones. Okay. So this could be that, um, you know, you're both a little bit maybe uncomfortable with expressing feelings here. Um, but the need to express the feelings. Okay. Oops. We have, wow, fate, destiny, serendipity. Yeah, it's like twin flame card. For me, that's like a twin flame card. So it could be. And then we have these two as well. You hold the key to my heart. Beautiful. And I didn't mean to hurt you. So if this person, if there's anything that you, um, in your connection here with this person um, hurt you, there. this is basically saying it was unintentional. Oh, and this one here at the bottom says, give us time. Sweet, give us time. So if it's been taking a while, um, yeah, they're just saying, you know, just give it time and it'll be okay, all right? All right, let's get one more, one of these out here. This love, well, whispers of love messages for you as well. Crystal number three, what would their person, what's next in love? What would their person want to say here to crystal number three? What's next in love for them? This is beautiful. Oh, love endures. That one flew out. Way over there. Okay. So love endures. It says, Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Yeah, so they're just hopeful that you're not losing faith, that you haven't decided to move on from them. Even though they may feel that you have, they're hoping that you haven't, okay? And they, they feel like lo this love will endure because it is very strong and very powerful here. So, wow, crystal number three. Hopefully this is your story, right? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm excited to find out. Um, yeah. Well, good luck if this is your story. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to give it a like and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, okay? Well, enjoy your day and I will see you in the next reading.